Namaste and welcome. I am Miss Mariah with Little Healers, and today we are going to be filming a class. So if you want to join us for yoga today, go ahead and bring out your kids' yoga mat. Um, and if you have a friend or a parent or a loved one to practice with, go ahead and invite them to practice with you, and then we'll get started. So today we are actually going to start by waking up our bodies by standing up tall and doing something called joy breath. So this is what it looks like. We're going to match our breath to our movement today. So we're gonna take a breath in and give ourselves a hug. And as we breathe out, we're gonna open our arms wide. <sighs> breathe in and sweep your arms up. Exhale and fold, let it go. Tuck your chin to your chest, roll your spine up tall back to mountain. So that's joy breath and we're gonna do it three times. Does that sound okay? All right, so let's take a breath in and give ourselves a hug. Breathe out and open up. Breathe in and sweep up. Breathe out. Fold forward. Tuck your chin to your chest. Roll up tall two more times. When you get to the top, breathe in. Roll up tall, final round. Are you ready? Yes. <sighs> <sighs> From the floor, place your hands on your mat. Go ahead and have a seat on your bum in Sukhasana. Or you can sit with your legs extended out nice and long. Either way is okay. So today we are going to talk about something called ahimsa. Do you guys know what that is? Yes. What is it? It's the thing where you sit like this and you stand up. Oh, wow. So ahimsa is actually one of the foundational pieces of yoga. Do you guys know what the word foundation means? Yeah. What does it mean, Red? It means um, the outer wire starts with the rock. Yeah. So what ahimsa is and why we call it the foundation is we think about like bricks on a house. So when we're making a house out of bricks, do we start by building the top of the house or the bottom of the house? Bottom. bottom. And why do we start by building the bottom of the house? Because, um, if you start from the top, it will fall down. Yeah, if we don't have any bricks below this one, it just falls down, right? There's nothing to support like it. Like this. Have a seat, Rid, on your mat, please. So we always start with the base block. So in yoga, Meridian, please have a seat. Meridian, please place the block back. Thank you. So in yoga, ahimsa is our starting block. So ahimsa means non-harming and to be kind and compassionate. So we're going to explore what it means to be kind and compassionate and non-harmful. So can you guys think of ways that maybe we can keep from harming or hurting someone? Uh, if you um, hit someone and um, pinch them and kick them, that would be hurting. Yep, so hitting, pinching, and kicking someone hurts them. So maybe we choose to keep our physical bodies to ourselves, right? What about you, Ezzy? Um, we could be, we could be fine. Well, if somebody was hurting us, then we could say stop or hurting you. Yeah, so communicating when someone's hurting you, letting them know. Because sometimes we don't realize that we're hurting somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. So letting other people know. Yeah, sometimes we hurt people without realizing it. So it helps us to teach others how to be kind and compassionate by letting them know. Also, um, we can speak nicely to people. So if we like the way that someone dresses, we can let them know that we like their outfit that day. Or we can always be kind to people that we meet rather than being mean hug. to Hugs, yeah. Yeah, using our manners. If yeah. Say sorry, that would be really nice. Yep, when you hurt someone, using a himsa to say sorry. 
So we're going to explore ways that we can pause and be more compassionate in our life, okay? So are you guys ready to start waking up your bodies? All right, so we're going to start with something called marching fingers. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit in staff pose. So we get on our sit bones, we draw our legs out long, and we point our toes all the way up towards the ceiling. Then we take out our wiggly fingers and we give them a good wiggle. And we take out our wiggly toes and we give our wiggly toes a good wiggle. And we bring our fingers to our shoulders. And as we breathe in, we're going to roll our shoulders forward. And as we breathe out, we're going to send them away. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then release your shoulders and bring out your wiggly fingers. And we're going to leave out two fingers and tuck the rest in. So our pointer finger and our middle finger are out. The other three are tucked in. And these fingers are going to walk. And we're, we're going to be nice and non-harmful to our bodies. So we're only going to stretch our backs as far as we go, ah. But if we start to feel, ouch, we got to walk back to, ah, okay? So bring your marching fingers towards your legs, and they're going to start stepping forward. Walking, walking, walking. And as they walk forward, we're going to start to bring our backs forward, too. Going, oh, this feels really good right here. So I'm going to keep my marching fingers right here. Where it feels good on you guys? Right here. All right, then you'll stay there. Does that feel too far, Ezzy? So walk your fingers back to ah, because we only want to go to ah, never to ouch, right? All right, walk your fingers all the way back. Bring your spine up tall. Take a big breath in. Ah, one more time. Ah. All right, bring out your wiggly feet, Mark it, marching fingers again, and we're going to take another fold forward. Fingers down and walk your fingers to ah. See if we can go a little bit further this time or if the same spot feels really good. Ah, that feels nice and good. I'm even bending my knees a little bit because that helps me. Is that where it feels good on you? What about you? Does that feel good? All right, walk your fingers back. Bring your spine up tall. Breathe in and give yourself a hug. Breathe out and open up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And bring out your wiggly marching fingers for one last fold. Our fingers come to our legs. And begin to walk or run them forward, finding your ah. Ah, that feels like a good stretch. I got super far that time. How far did you guys go? I got this far. Wow, what about you? <gasps> nice, does that feel good? So we listen to our body because a big part of not harming others is not harming ourselves, right? We don't want to go too deep into a yoga pose that it hurts. Ow. So we always go to where it feels good. All right, go ahead and slide your hands back up. We are going to meet in butterfly. So in butterfly, the bottoms of our feet come together and our knees spread out like butterfly wings. And then what we do is we take our hands and we cup our toes. And we take a breath in and we draw our spine up tall, nice and straight. And maybe we should fly our butterfly for a little bit. So let's go ahead and flap our wings, soaring through the sky. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, we're going to go and figure out what feels good and what maybe feels ouchy for us, right? Because we're going to listen to our bodies and be kind to ourselves today. So when you're ready, you can stay here and butterfly or you can start to lift your feet off the ground. Keeping the bottoms together. Yep. So this is the beginning of bat. So this might be your baby bat. And if baby bat feels good, stay on baby bat. Or... Yep, where one leg comes out at a time, and then the other, and we find our big bat. Yep, so we have butterfly, baby bat, or big bat. So find your bat or your butterfly. Which one feels best for you? Baby bat. Baby bat. Big bat. Big bat. All right, slowly bring the bottoms of your feet to the floor, but we're going to keep our knees up like mountains. And then we're going to take our hands and we're going to cut through the middle and slide them underneath our knees for turtle. 
and we can tuck our chin towards our chest and maybe close our eyes. And if this feels good, we can stay here. Or if we need more of a stretch, we can start to bring our legs out long and lower our head down. Do you feel out? So go back up to ah. We only want to feel ah, never out, because we need to not harm our bodies, right? All right, slowly begin to untuck your chin, tuck your legs back in and up. Unravel your arms and bring them to the short edge of your mat. So the short edge, the front edge of your mat. See how there's a long edge and there's a short edge? Your hands are going to be at the short edge, yep. Slide your knees underneath you into tabletop. And make right in the short edge of your mat. You sh your head should be facing me and your feet should be behind you. There we go. So in tabletop, we wiggle l our fingers apart so there's lots of space between our fingers. And then if we look back at our knees, our knees are underneath our hips and our shins and our toes are hiding behind our knees. And then when you're ready, we're going to tuck our toes under and lift our tail into downward facing dog. <laughs> yep. Look towards your hands and then start to walk your feet towards your hands in a forward fold. Not on our head, Meridian. We need to be safe, right? We don't want to harm ourselves. So here, this pose is called a forward fold or utanasan. Can you guys say utanasan? Utanasan. Utanasan. All right, tuck your chin to your chest, and we're going to roll up tall for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, roll our shoulders back and away. Are you guys ready to feel the strength and the stretch in your bodies? All right, so your hands can be at your sides, or you can bring your hands to your hearts. Either way is fine. And we're going to step our feet right underneath our hips. So if we start at our hips, we can follow our hips all the way down to our feet. So there's just a little bit of space in between. And then we come back up tall, hands at our sides, or hands at our hearts. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like we're sitting in a chair. So we're going to start to sit back in our chair. Yeah, bending at our knees and pretending like we're sitting. Can you guys find your chair pose, please? Yeah, find your chair pose. This is a chair pose. All right, and then we're going to tap our left leg three times. One, two, three. Left leg steps back into warrior one. And we raise our hands up tall. Good job. Do we feel strong somewhere in our bodies? Does anybody feel strong? That's okay. And so here, does it feel good or does it feel ouch? Good. All right, take a breath in. Breathe out and fold forward towards your front leg, Meridian. All right, your front leg is going to step back and all your toes point forward into plank. Take one breath in. Breathe out and lower all the way down. <laughs> As you breathe in, lift your heart and your gaze up to upward facing dog. <sighs> Maybe smiling, because smiling helps us to feel good, right? All right, take one breath in. Breathe out, lower down. <sighs> Tuck your toes, press back into table, or lift into downward facing dog. Good job, you guys. Look towards your hands, walk your feet towards your hands, finding your fold. Does anybody remember what this pose is called in fold? Utanasana. Utanasana. Yep, so our head hangs heavy. We look back at our legs and our tail's lifted. Yep. Tuck your chin to your chest, breathe in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, roll your shoulders back and away. All right. Follow your hips down to your feet again. What we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. So are your feet underneath your hips? All right, stand tall, hands at your side or hands at your heart. Begin to bend into your knees and have a seat in your chair. Yep, nice and strong. Now we're going to tap our right leg three times. One, two, three. Right leg steps back. We kick the heel back behind us. And we raise our arms up into warrior one. Do we feel a strong or a stretch anywhere? Do we? 
strong. And are we at all or are we at ouch? Ah, yep. We never want to move to ouch. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Fold forward. Step both feet back into plank. Take one breath in. Breathe out and lower down. Breathe in, lift your heart and your gaze up to the sky, upward facing dog. Let yourself smile, being kind to ourselves. Breathe out, lower down. Tuck your toes, press back, and sit on your heels, bringing your forehead to your mat in child's pose. Yep, so is your, are your glutes on your heels? And maybe we close our eyes here for a second. Let's take three breaths. <sighs> Giving ourselves time to think, get process, and go inward. <sighs> and then slowly lift your gaze up. Sit back on your heels into Thunderbolt Pose. So we're going to play a game, you guys. And it's called Mirrors. Have you guys ever played this game before? So with Mirrors, one person starts by leading and the other two copies what the person instructing is doing, okay? And we'll all get turns being the teacher and the followers, okay? And so the only boundary with this game is that as you move, you have to be mindful of the people copying you. So you're doing moves that will keep the other people safe and out of harm's way, okay? So we're not going to do anything too dangerous that someone might get hurt because we have to remember Ahimsa, right? So being kind and non-harmful to ourselves and also to others. Does that sound like a plan? All right, so I'm going to start and you two follow along. And then I'll switch off to Ezzy and then to Rid, okay? Yes. So we're going to all meet in Thunderbolt. So we're sitting on our knees. Yep. And we're going to bring our hands to our hearts. Leave some space in between the fingers. And are you ready to follow along? All right. All right, Ezzy, now you teach us poses that are standing, okay? All right, we'll follow you now. <laughs> Remembering that we want to keep everybody safe so that they don't fall and hurt themselves, right? I can't get this pose. What we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. So teach us on the other side. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What else are we going to do? Or are you ready to pass to Rid? All right, Rid, now you're going to take us from standing to sitting. You're going to do standing and sitting. Yep, so are we going straight on to our glutes? And you can also do standing. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Remembering that we're not trying to hurt anybody, right, Red? Ahimsa. <laughs> All right, Red. I'm going to pass back to me, okay? <sighs> Yep, mermaid tail at the leg. Resting. Back up to your center. Switching sides for another final twist. Resting in deer pose. Lift up, come back to your center, find your Sukhasana. We're going to start cooling and going inward, okay? So we're going to take out our yoga fingers and we're going to do mudra and mantra. So as we speak, we're going to match our movement of our fingers to our words, okay? So we're going to start on the index finger and we'll go peace. Then we move to the next finger, begins. Next finger with, next finger, me. Then tap the pinky, peace, begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. And once that feels comfortable, you can maybe try closing your eyes if that feels safe. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. And then moving the words inside your mind, quiet as a mountain as you move your fingers. When you get back to your pointer fingers, go ahead, maybe gently open your eyes just so that you can move down into resting pose. So we lay on our backs. Maybe we wiggle our toes and then our fingers. We turn our voices off so we're quiet as a mountain. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple breaths into our belly. So if it's helpful to place your hands on your belly, when we breathe in, we're going to fill up our belly like it has a balloon inside. So like our belly becomes a balloon and it blows all the way up as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, all the air leaves the balloon. Our belly tucks back in and we exhale. So breathe in, fill up your balloon. Breathe out. Remembering to only push your belly out as far as feels safe and comfortable and okay. Maybe allowing the eyes to close and your body to soften as you breathe into your belly. And just staying with your breath. Remembering everything we learned today about Ahimsa. Not harming ourselves or others and being kind and compassionate. So resting time at the end of yoga class is a really good time to just let all the information we took in melt into our brain. So that we can take it from our yoga mat into our everyday life. So let's take three breaths into our belly. And if Shavasana feels really good, you can stay here. Or when you're ready, you can start to flutter your eyes open. Wiggle your toes, maybe take a big body stretch. 
Roll to one side of your mat and begin to press and lift up back into Sukhasana or Staff Pose. And so before we end our yoga class here, what is something that we learned about Ahimsa today? Yes, Azzy? Being kind to others. Yep, being kind to others. Um, um, and the games. Yep, the games. So understanding that our movements can help someone find a good stretch or sometimes they can even make someone fall and hurt themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So it's important in that game to do safe movements. And then also not just being kind to others, but also being kind to ourselves, right? So when we stretch going to ah, oh, never to ouch and speaking kindly to ourselves as well, right? So what's one way that you can take ahimsa off your yoga mat and teach it to the people in your lives? Yeah, as saying stop. Yep, so communicating if something's harming you so that people know, right? And stay is Yep, using our manner. Yes, you're exactly right. So let's go ahead and take three flower breaths followed by one humming breath to close out class. Okay, so bring out your flowers. Take a breath in. Fly your little bees together for humming breath. So we know that we're humming on the exhale when our bees are together, but when they fly away, the humming stops, okay? So breathe in through your nose. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. All right, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for sharing this yoga class with us. We will see you for our next Yama, which is Satya, coming up. Have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>